Hey guys, how's it going? This is the first time I've ever been blown away by full self-driving beta. I dropped my daughter off to a birthday party, took it home, and now I'm picking her up and I'm gonna take her home. And when I was going home before, it blew my mind. It just did so, so well. We're gonna see if it can repeat that here right now. All right, so I'm gonna go right to the same spot where I had picked up my daughter before, and then we're gonna see if it can take us all the way home. This, if it pulls it off, is extremely impressive. I have a fairly high degree of confidence that it's going to be able to do this without any interventions or disengagements. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen it here first. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, so I'm gonna come up here and dial in uh, my home address. All right, so anywhere in here, we can turn it on. Lots of pedestrians in this area. This is one of the coolest places I've ever been through to test this. It is really, really awesome how well it does here. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna get us dialed in, which we are now dialed in, and all I need to do is turn it on. So starting from right here, one, two, three, go. All right, somebody getting in their car, going around that person. Coming back into this lane. There's some people right there on the right, taking extra caution to go around them. Coming up here, we have to turn right. All right, and there's a car to the left. And they're actually going left down to park and we are good to go. Very well done. It just cut across two lanes of traffic very appropriately. There were some other cars in the other lanes there on the right. That's the first time I've ever seen it do that, like so quickly to get all the way over to the left. All right, historically, this has been a very challenging turn for beta. So I'm at the front of the line. We're gonna see how well it does. So there are lines on the road, but about three quarters of the way through this intersection, or maybe a little bit further, it has had a tendency to kind of swerve into the left lane at the last second. And once, I would say maybe twice, the car has actually, without a turn signal, cut into the other lane. And if there's anybody behind us on the left that is in that lane already, that can be extremely frightening. However, I will say that in the two or three times that it's done that before, it corrected itself almost instantaneously and brought itself back into the correct lane. So it will jerk into the lane. And I think if nobody had been there, it would have probably moved into the other lane but it is certainly frightening when it, when it at last second decides, the path decides to change itself. 
So we're going to see if it does that here when we turn left. I think and hope since it's nice and sunny and beautiful weather out today that it will see the lines clearly and it will follow very smoothly. It seems that these turns are smoother. So here we go. Okay, accelerating forward. Okay. And nice, it did not do it. So that was good. It, it stayed in the lane and kept a steady speed. No jerky movements with the steering wheel. That was very natural and a good speed as well. So I am at the front of the line once again, and there's a car to the right and there's a car to the left and I'm going to have to get in the left lane. So if I let beta do what it's going to do normally, it will probably let this yellow car on the left get ahead. But what I'm going to do here is something fun that I love to do with beta is intervene purposefully so that I can get ahead of the traffic. And this is something that only works obviously when you're at the front of the line. So the cool part is that even though beta is enabled, when I go ahead and step on the accelerator, when the light turns green, it will maintain its lane and it will also steer automatically. Now I've never tried accelerating when I've had an instant left turn. I have, well, uh, slightly, but not, I haven't stepped on it. So here we, here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and step on it and get ahead of all these people. So there we go. So now it puts me in a nice gap and then automatically it's changing lanes to get in the lane that we need to turn left. So that's one thing I really love is just kind of zooming ahead and letting beta then manage the rest. I'm just going to go a little bit faster. Most people go over five miles per hour here. So it is a 35, but it feels like a 45. So uh, I just had to keep on the accelerator there a little bit, just out of comfort. So here we are turning left. Had I not intervened there, this would have been a zero intervention, zero disengagement drive. I like to have a little bit of fun every now and again, so I did intervene on purpose. So because I did that, I'm not gonna count that intervention. And so that concludes our drive here. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.